That cosmic Christ consciousness we all like really want to feel, you know. I was just watching this um, documentary because uh, I I just like I was just feeling it lately, like Joe Crocker, so soulful, amazing passion brings tears to my eyes, makes me cry. Just the passion and the stuff, you know. I put so much passion in my life. And, Watching this Joe Crocker um, thing. I wish I could have just held that. I wish I could have spent some time with that man. I wish I could have played some music with him. Music is very important, guys. You know, I play a little. I play as much music as I can. You know, I had a lot of music in me when I was young, but I. I just wasn't with the right people. I played a lot of music, but it wasn't. I'm actually really looking forward to doing us doing something, trying to um, do some type of music project. Um, this whole spiritual awakening, Mandela effect stuff, and like getting closer with God and seeing the truth in life and seeing what you're really, what you're really, um, what you're really capable of. It's freaking amazing. It, it really make you think like, wow, I can't even believe like I wasted. My life is like an infinite life that I can do whatever I want, enjoy, and all this happiness. And I've wasted so much of this material exist existence. And I, I feel shame for that. I feel shame that I've wasted so much ma material existence because I had talent. I mean, like, I'm not even, like, trying to brag or anything. I had a lot of talent. People used to tell me, like, they used to shake their head and be like, wasted talent. I was that talented that people used to shake their head and go, wasted talent. This kid's got no license. He's drinking. He's, all he cares about is girls and smoking weed and drugs and stuff he doesn't know anything about life and now I know so much and I love life so much and I can't even believe I just can't I was a 15 year I was like younger than that that's when I moved I mean like 12 year old kid 13 12 that age playing with 30 year old men and stuff I was playing with grown-ups down in over by Salem and the rooming houses in Salem, Mass and stuff. That's where I grew up on the North Shore. Shore. Um, so it was like, I and I played with some people here and there. My mom watched this guy's kid. I used to play with his band and stuff, but I couldn't play out in the clubs and stuff. And then I moved away, and I just ended up just being an idiot, just just working and stuff. And it's there's nothing wrong with that. I really learned a lot from like working hard and giving my all to something. And, um, like I really learned from 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 working hard and being down there and. And doing all that, um, but where I'm at right now is like I'm feeling this breath of life come into me, and like I got woken up from the Mandela effect, and 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 I've always been the type of person to be really deep into like wanting to gain knowledge and wisdom, and I, I just like to learn stuff. You know, I've always been in infatuated with knowledge, you know, I've been like, that's a good word, infatuated, like, I've been totally just wrapped up in the fact that, wow, look at where we're at and everything we get to bear witness to, you know, and I'm learning all about these animals and everything as a child, I was just like infatuated with it, that's a really great word nobody uses anymore.
It's infatuated with my existence. I was enth enthralled. I was, uh, people used to tell me, don't you lose that. Don't lose that passion, that zeal, that, that want to, that love of life. People used to tell me, you know, the love, the lust. They used to tell me you had a lust for life. A lust. Such a lust for life. And then here I am, and this. I'm sucking every second I can out of it and trying to figure it all out. I was just watching this beautiful um, thing about Joe, Joe Crocker, because I'm a musician and, I pl and I'm looking for inspiration right now. Try to, I just don't have anybody to collaborate with, you know. I just buried, just buried a friend of mine that we grew up playing music together when we were kids. And now I'm this grown, now I'm this grown man. I'm ready to just take the world on. I realized that we don't need. You know, if you got some wheels under your ass and a couple bucks in your pocket or something, your bills are paid and shit, you can pretty much head in any direction you want. This freedom, man, this freedom. Don't get trapped in your life, you know? That's what I'm trying to figure out and do. And I have, I've buried myself in my work and shit. I've worked hard. I make, I make, a, I make a decent amount of money. I'm killing myself working hard. I, I make, I'm doing... Pretty good, but I'm in that mind frame that I, you have to differenti differentiate that. You have to have a different pers perspective because, like, I am I could be making $1,000 a week and somebody else, 300 like, if I've been, I've been to where I can make 1000 in a day and, or have to work a month for a thousand dollars it's crazy so i've been through i really see it now you know it's really imperative that we just live our lives and enjoy stuff as long as we can know that 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 we're gonna eat and we can move have a car or whatever and stuff like that like well, what else do you need you don't need to worry about nothing Take a nap, keep moving, get a shower. You don't even need a home, like, really. You don't need all these big fancy, you don't need a freaking palace, these things. Everybody wants their own freaking palace. I rent a freaking room, dude, like, a couple hundred bucks a month. Like, I pay four or five hundred bucks a month. I don't need it. All I need is the shower I don't, and, and somewhere to lay my head and sleep. That's all I need. I don't need the rest. I don't have a, My wife's got her place and the kids. That's her stuff. Like, I don't need that. That's not mine. That's for them. Like, I can't even be there. And that's all not... That's... I'm going through that right now. Because she's in the projects. I can't even stand being there. That those are people that choose... Try and explain that to her now. You choose to be like that. You know, like, if she's waking up too, she knows. She's like, she's like, baby, I'm scared. And I'm like, baby, you see him? You see that? You see that evil? You see that? Them people looking at you like, that demonic look in somebody's eyes, that's that's what we're battling. I'm like, baby, it's real. You gotta get strong. And she's there. She's just she's just like she's the perfect she's the perfect mother she's the perfect queen of heaven in my world. She's the perfect queen of heaven in my world. She's the perfect um Isis, she's the perfect Isis, the queen of heaven. She's just, she's 
She's got the kid, and I'm there, and the father's gone, and he passed away, and I'm there to be a father, and guide these children, and she sees the light that I'm bringing to her, and I'm, wait, I'm showing her that, you know, there are some dark forces, and, and, and God is there for us, and I'm like, She's got a strong faith in her, and her father is a 33rd degree Mason. I've had nightmares about, like, mechanical, like, mechanical alien entities types coming down, and pyramid, pyramids, and mechanical, uh, artificial intelligent entity god type beings like you <laughs> this came to me in a vision if, i've been trying to reach out to people and nobody wants to reach i've been trying to reach out because i don't have the time so i just put this out there like i ha i ha i'm just going through it like everybody else guys i'm going through it like everybody else <laughs> The good thing is, is everything is for the better, for real. My life, five years ago, it was a pit of shit. The worst thing that could happen right now is the best thing that could happen just a year or two ago. I don't see where anything can go that wrong, even if, like, I love you guys. I'm glad I'm... I'm I'm happy I was able to put this out there and I actually made a video that was touching base on a couple things and I dropped off for a little while and it's because I was trying and I felt like I was just pushing myself and I was getting anywhere and we were we're all called to do this so it's hard you know you don't know what you're supposed to do you don't know what you're supposed to do and you're just doing Trying to be positive and be there for other people and just we're trying to get through life and do things and we're enslaved and we're just trying to get through this and figure out and we're, we're given this opportunity to come together and love each other and, and get somewhere and do big things and, and free ourselves because we're awakened from this paradigm that we're in and we are awakened and it's... It is crazy. I remember sitting in the theater watching The Matrix. I always loved that stuff, but I never thought I'd really be like, that's our lives for real deal. I mean, no, I did think it, but I didn't think it would mean so much. I didn't think we'd ever see a resolution, guys. We might actually see a fucking... We might actually see something happen. We are making progress, guys. We're making progress here. That's my point. I haven't heard from nobody. I, I mean, I've heard a couple comments. I've had contact with our channels. I've been in this for four years or so. So I'm all Jacob Israel, Jacob Israel John X Arnie. Um, WSO, Naughty Beaver, like all these big, I'm all saturated in it, guys. Hit me up. Don't be afraid. I'm trying. I just don't have the time to do this stuff. I work too hard right now, man, because I got to get the money so I can get the MREs and the, and some water and stuff and be stable and I got a vehicle that's gonna stir be sturdy and stand up and transport me like unless that gets fried, who knows? But I'm just doing the best I can like everybody else. So I love you guys. I'm happy I was able to connect and put out a decent video this time. It's been a while and I know I was some of my videos are just retarded. I was just pushing too hard or something. Just, I know God's calling me to do this and the Mandela effect and all this quantum physics shit and the truth loom and stuff is just, it's really overwhelming to wrap your head around it. And then you're called to be some type of like facilitator where you're out here creating uh, these videos and talking to people and you're, God's t telling you you're out here, you, you have so much to give. 
You're st- <laughs> I'm just a pizza guy, dude. I'm killing myself. I'm just a pizza guy. I'm a chef. I'm just a chef. I'm just a pizza guy. And God's calling me to be this, like, part of something that's so huge. It scares you sometimes. You don't know what, you don't know how to deal with it. And I'm just trying to deal with it. But I love you guys. And I'm putting this out here. And I know there'll be more. Even though I don't want to make a video. There'll be another one coming. There'll be another video coming, guys. Because... Even if I wait a week or two and don't do anything, you're going to get another one of these or something. Like, he won't let me stop. I can't stop. I don't have any control. I'm called to do something. I keep absorbing the information. I keep doing my research every day, and this is what you're going to get. Love you guys. I'm out. Hit me up. Leave a comment. Talk to me. I could use some <laughs> some fellowship here, guys, really. I'm all alone. I'm losing my mind. Talk at you later. I'm out.